Bonjour et bienvenue à l'On French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignant de la langue française. Et cette fois-ci, on va apprendre les jours de la semaine. My name is Suchita, your French instructor, back with a new video on les jours de la semaine, which means the days of the week. Okay, so we'll start this topic with a question. Il y a combien de jours dans une semaine? Which means, il y a, there is or there are, combien de, how many, jours, which means days, dans une semaine, which means in a week. Il y a combien de jours dans une semaine? Alors, we'll, re we'll reply to this question. There are, il y a, instead of writing combien de, we can write sept. Il y a sept jours dans une semaine. Il y a combien de jours dans une semaine? Il y a sept jours dans une semaine. Okay, so we'll start the seven days of the week by Monday. Lundi, Monday. Mardi, Tuesday. Mercredi, Wednesday, Jeudi, Thursday, Vendredi, Friday, Samedi, Saturday, Dimanche, Sunday. On les répète encore une fois. We repeat them. Lundi, Mardi, Mercredi, Jeudi, Vendredi, Samedi et finalement dimanche. Ok, we'll take this topic a little bit further and uh, we'll practice certain exercises. Aujourd'hui, aujourd'hui, which means today. Hier, which means yesterday. Et demain, demain means tomorrow. If today, aujourd'hui, if today is dimanche, which means Sunday. Très bien. If today is mon, uh, Sunday, so yesterday was Samedi. Très bien. And tomorrow, c'est lundi. Bravo. If yesterday was Mardi, which means Tuesday, so today would be Mercredi and Dama, Dama, which means tomorrow, would be Jeudi. Alors, il y a deux questions ici. Uh, there are two questions here. Et on va répondre à ces questions and we'll reply to these questions. C'est quel jour aujourd'hui? Which means, this is which day? This is which day? Today. On va répondre. We'll reply to this question. Aujourd'hui, c'est, par exemple, lundi. Today it is Monday. Hier, which means yesterday, c'était. It was which day? Which day was yesterday? On va répondre. Hier, c'était dimanche. If today was Monday, yesterday would be Dimanche. Bonjour et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignant de la langue française et aujourd'hui on va étudier les mois de l'année. I'm Suchita, your French language instructor, back with a new video on les mois de l'année, which means months of the year. Okay, so we'll start this topic with a question. Il y a combien de mois dans une année? Which means there are how many months in a year? On va répondre à cette question. We'll reply to this question. There are, instead of writing combien de, there are how many months in a year? Twelve. Très bien. Which is douze. Alors, il y a combien de mois dans une année? Il y a douze mois dans une année. 
Alors, on va euh, commencer avec janvier, février, mars, avril, mai, juin, juillet, août, septembre, octobre, novembre et finalement décembre. On les répète. We repeat them. Janvier, which means January, février, mars, avril, mai, juin, juillet, août, septembre, octobre, novembre et décembre. Ok, so we'll practice les mois de l'année by these festivals. I'm going to tell you which festival is it and you will guess in which months uh, these festivals fall. Ok, so the first one is Noël. Noël means Christmas. Ok, so it is in the month of Décembre. Très bien. Décembre. La Saint Valentin, which is Valentine's Day. Au mois de, in the month of? Février. 14 février. La fête nationale de la France, which means the National Festival of France. Le 14 juillet. So the month is? Juillet. Quatrième, c'est la fête du travail, which means the Labor's Day. When is the Labor's Day? Le 1er mai, the first May. Alors, finalement, la Toussaint, which is All Saints Day. When do we celebrate? Le 1er novembre. Alors, le mois, c'est novembre. Je vous... The easiest way to learn a new language is to get connected with the real life objects. Keeping that in mind, in today's lesson, we'll be studying les parties du corps, which means the body parts. And specifically, we'll be studying le visage, which means the face. Bonjour et bienvenue à Learn French with Suchita. I'm your French language instructor, Suchita, back with a new video on les parties du corps, which means the body parts. We post videos on French language lessons on regular basis. And if you also want to learn the French language, consider subscribing. Okay, so we'll start with the first part of the face, that is the head. Head in French is pronounced as la tête. Now, all the words generally I'm talking, the words which end with E, they are feminine. So, we put la. This is the general rule. However, there are a lot of exceptions. Now, hair. Hair is le, because it is plural. Cheveux. So, la tête, le cheveux. Now, the third. Forehead. That is le front. Now, here I've written the pronunciation as front, because in Hindi I cannot write front. In actual practice, in French, we pronounce this R as K. So, it is not front, but it is front. Now, eyebrow. Eyebrow, that is le sourcil. Le sourcil. Eyelash, that is le seal. Eye, that is the singular one. We pronounce it as l'oeil. Now, here, we write O and E together. We mix it and the pronunciation becomes O. So it is OI and with this LOI. Now in plural, if I want to say eyes, so we do not put S over here, but instead we have a different word with the pronunciation LAZIO, Y E U X, that is LAZIO. Now the seventh body part is nose. The pronunciation is L NE. The eighth one is lip which is la lèvre, la lèvre. 
Now, tooth. Tooth is le don. Le don. Now, if I want to say teeth and I have to make it plural. So, what, what will I do? Will I add S over here? And it becomes le don. The pronunciation is same. Now, here they have a word. Un dentiste. Un dentiste, which means a dentist. This word comes from the word don. Now, the next is cheek. The pronunciation is la joue. If we want to say again uh, the cheeks, then we'll make it plural and we'll add s. However, the, the pronunciation remains same. Now, ear is l'oreille. L'oreille. Now, Again, if I want to make it plural, I'll do like this. The last body part is chin, which is le menton. The pronunciation is le menton. So, le nez, la lèvre, les dents or le don, la joue, les joues, l'oreille or les oreilles, le menton, which means the chin. Now we'll take this topic a little bit further and we'll add certain adjectives to the body parts in order to describe ourselves. So the first example is J'ai les yeux bleu ou brun, which means what? I have the blue eyes or you can say the brown eyes. J'ai les yeux bleu or J'ai les yeux brun. Now the second example, il a un nez pointu, which means he has a pointed nose. Pointu means pointed. Now the third example is Elle a des cheveux red like me. So she has the straight hair. Elle a des cheveux frisé. Frisé means frizzy. Now elle a des cheveux bouclé. So bouclé is curly. So elle a des cheveux red, frisé or bouclé. Hi guys! Bonjour et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignant de la langue française et cette fois-ci on va apprendre les parties du corps, which means the body parts. My name is Suchita, back with a new video on les parties du corps, which means the body parts. Before watching the video, I would recommend you to go to the first part of the video which explains le visage, the face. Please go to the link below for the link. Okay, so the first body part is the neck, which is le cou, le cou. Next, shoulder, which is l'épaule, l'épaule. Arm, which is le bras, le bras. Next is chest, la poitrine, la Poitrine. Next is elbow. Le coude. Le coude. Now, uh, here we'll pay attention to this rule. This is ending with E, but still it is masculine. So, le coude. This is an exception. Again, this is a, an exception. Hand. Hand is la main. La main. This is not ending with E. Still, it is feminine. Fingers. Fingers is les doigts. Les doigts. Okay, so the next body part is stomach. We have two ways of saying stomach. The first one is l'estomac. It is l'estomac. And the second way is le ventre. Again, it is an exception. It is ending with E. Still, it is masculine. Now, hip. La onch, la onch. Thai, la quiz, la quiz. Next is knee, which is le genou, le genou. Next is foot, le pied, le pied. Et finalement, toes, which is les orteils. Les orteils. Hi friends! Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. 
we are back with a new video and today's topic is the vocabulary that we require while using computers on va apprendre le vocabulaire de l'ordinateur let's get into the video et on commence par le premier vocabulaire ça c'est un ordinateur un ordinateur which means a computer Now, un ordinateur de bureau, which means a desktop computer. Un ordinateur de bureau. And if I say un ordinateur portable, un ordinateur portable, which means your laptop. Par exemple, je préfère travailler sur mon ordinateur portable au lieu de mon ordinateur de bureau which means I prefer working on my laptop instead of my desktop computer Now, what is the first thing that we do while using the computers? We switch it on So, the verb goes like this On peut utiliser allumer allumer ou mettre en route Mettre en route ou démarrer. Allumer, mettre en route ou démarrer. Par exemple, je ne peux pas allumer mon ordinateur depuis ce matin. Je ne peux pas allumer mon ordinateur depuis ce matin. Which means, I'm not able to switch on my computer since this morning. You can also say, je ne peux pas démarrer mon ordinateur depuis ce matin. C'est la même chose. Hein? The opposite would be, éteindre l'ordinateur. Éteindre l'ordinateur. Which means, to switch off the computer. Par exemple, quand on a fini travailler, il faut éteindre l'ordinateur. Quand on a fini travailler, il faut éteindre l'ordinateur. Which means, when we are finished working, you should always switch off the computer. Maintenant, quatrième, un écran. Un écran, which means a screen. Un écran, which means a screen. Now, if you want to say a touch screen, then you can say un écran tactile. Un écran tactile, which means a touch screen. Par exemple, je préfère travailler sur un écran tactile. Je préfère travailler sur un écran tactile, which means I prefer working on a touch screen. On continue avec une souris. Une souris, which means a mouse. Now, if I want to say a wireless mouse, I'll say une souris sans fil. Une souris sans fil. Fil, which actually means a thread. But if I'm saying sans fil, sans fil means without thread or, or without wire. So, une souris sans fil, which means a wireless mouse. Now, the verb associated with this is cliquer sur la souris. Cliquer sur la souris, which means clicking on the mouse. Remember, the verb cliquer is a normal ER verb. So, cliquer sur la souris, which means clicking on the mouse. Par exemple, je clique sur la souris pour sélectionner quelque chose sur mon écran. I know it's pretty long sentence. Je clique sur la souris pour sélectionner quelque chose sur mon écran. Which means, I click on the mouse for selecting, sélectionner, which means selecting, something on my screen. Mon écran, écran, which means my screen. 
Il y a deux boutons sur la souris, which means there are two buttons on the mouse. Le bouton droit et le bouton gauche. Le bouton droit, which means the right click, et le bouton gauche, which means the left click. Alors, faire un clic droit, which means a right click, ou on peut dire faire un clic gauche, which means a left click. This is like a verb. Faire un clic droit ou faire un clic gauche. Maintenant, un clavier. Un clavier, which means a keyboard. Un clavier. Try to repeat after me, okay? Un clavier, which means a keyboard. Maintenant, il y a des touches sur le clavier. Il y a des touches. Touche, which means the keys. Alors, il y a des touches sur le clavier. There are keys on the keyboard. Exemple, je tape. Le verbe, c'est taper. Je tape sur les touches de mon clavier. Je tape sur les touches de mon clavier. Which means I type on the keys of the keyboard. Et on continue avec le prochain vocabulaire, which is une unité centrale. Une unité centrale, which means your CPU. Une imprimante. Une imprimante. Imprimante, which means a printer. Une imprimante. Now, it's a noun. The verb associated with this in English is what? To print. So, in French, we call it as imprimer. Imprimer. Imprimer, which means to print. Alors, par exemple, je dois imprimer tous les documents. Je dois imprimer tous les documents, which means I have to take a print out of all the documents. On continue avec une clé USB. Une clé USB, which means your pen drive. Now, we insert a pen drive into a USB port. So, what do we say to a USB port? La prise USB. La prise USB. Now, prise, which means your plug. Par exemple, Mets la clé USB dans la prise USB. Mets la clé USB dans la prise USB. Which means, put the pen drive into the USB port. The last vocabulary for today's video is un scanner. Un scanner. Scanner, which means a scanner. That's a noun. The verb associated with this is scanner. Scanner, which means to scan. Now that's a normal ER verb. Par exemple, je dois scanner tous mes documents. Je dois scanner tous mes documents, which means I have to scan all my documents. Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Sucheta. We are back with a new video and this video is actually the second part of the video where we learned the vocabulary related to computers. Alors, on va apprendre le vocabulaire lié à l'informatique, which means the vocabulary related to computers. Before watching the video, make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and for the updates and reminders, make sure you have hit the bell button. And I would recommend that you watch the video till the end. Let's get into the video. Et on va commencer par un logiciel. Un logiciel. Un logiciel, which means a software. Par exemple, je dois installer un nouveau logiciel. Je dois installer a nouveau logiciel, which means I have to install a new software. On continue avec un disque dur. Un disque 
dur, which means a hard drive. Par exemple, je stocke, le verbe c'est stocker, the normal ER verb, je stocke tous mes données personnelles dans le disque dur. Je stocke tous mes données personnelles dans le disque dur, which means I store all my personal data in the hard drive. Now, if you don't have enough space in your internal hard disk, what do you use? Of course, you use an external hard disk. So, what do we say to external hard disk? Un disque externe. Un disque externe, which means an external hard drive. Prochain. La corbeille. La corbeille. Corbeille, which means the recycle bin. La corbeille. Now, what do we say to a file? For example, a file that you see in a computer. A file in French is known as, in terms of computers, it is known as un fichier. Un fichier. Un fichier, ou on peut aussi dire un document. Un fichier. Un document. Now there are various actions that you can do with a file. For example, you can open a Word file, you can close a PowerPoint file. So what do we say to all those actions? Premier, ouvrir un document ou ouvrir un fichier. Ouvrir, le verbe c'est ouvrir le document, ouvrir un fichier. Now, what do we say to close? Close is fermé. Fermé un fichier ou fermé un document. So, ouvrir un fichier, which means opening a document. Fermé un fichier, which means closing a document. Now, if you want to say saving a file, then that is known as enregistrer. Enregistrer un fichier ou on peut aussi dire Sauvegarder un fichier. Enregistrer ou sauvegarder. C'est la même chose. Hein? If I want to say uh, deleting a file, then effacer le document. Effacer le document ou effacer un document. Ou on peut aussi dire supprimer un document. Effacer un document ou effacer un fichier. Ou on peut aussi dire supprimer un document ou supprimer un fichier. So, effacer and supprimer both means delete. Now, the next action is to take a printout. So, if you remember in the previous video we had done to, 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 to take a printout, that's imprimer. Imprimer, that's a normal ER verb. Imprimer un document ou imprimer un fichier. On continue avec une connexion internet. Une connexion internet. Une connexion internet, which means an internet connection. Now we'll learn how do you say your email ID. Uh, for example, my email ID is learn French by Suchita at the rate of gmail.com. So how will I say that in French? So learn French by Suchita arrobas at the rate of sign in French is known as arrobas so learn French by Suchita arrobas gmail point the dot is known as point so learn French by Suchita arrobas gmail point com now when you open your email ID there are two things that you require your username and your Password. So your username is known as identifiant. Identifiant. Identifiant, which means your username and password. What do we say to a password? That's mot de passe. Mot de passe. So identifiant, which means username and mot de passe, which means your password. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment in the comment section below. Did you like the video or on what topics do you want me to make the video?
Also, have a look at my website learnfrenchbyswachata.com which lists various courses. You can have a look at the website and you can select the courses according to your need. For now, au revoir, à bientôt et bisous bisous.